Hey, what's up guys? Coach Mike here from WebMD, your on-site dedicated wellness program manager. Today, we're gonna take you through a little workout with a tool you've probably heard me talk about on some of my other videos called the TRX. That's kind of the common name for it, but there's some other brands that we'll go through also that are a little less expensive as well. But basically what it is, three ropes tied together that gives you a full gym you can take with you on the road. The reason I wanted to bring this to you is I went on a ride along myself and I could tell you whenever we'd stop, I'd get out of the truck to do some stretching. This is an amazing tool to do that stretching with, nice, safe, easy, and effective, that you can get some stretches in and a little bit of a workout in just to get some blood pumping on the road, okay? Now, like I said, the TRX itself, that's about $200 tool. You can get some of these other brands off Amazon or at the store, like I know Target has a few that are around $50 to $80. Easiest thing in the world, you can throw it over your door and you'll see some footage of me actually doing it quick and easy, you toss it over, close the door, I crawled out the other side, pop down, and I'm ready to work out. So the first stretch we're gonna do, guys, it's called a pec stretch because we get tight all through the pecs and out even into our biceps when we're sitting forward all day, when we're rounded forward in that seated position. To stretch that back out, basically you're gonna take your two TRX handles, palms out, and just walk into it. You should feel a deep stretch right across your biceps tendon, into the shoulders, and across the chest. Now, as you do this, one of the major compensations we see, people shoot their head forward. So I want you to push your chin back, almost like you're trying to get the small of your neck flat on the wall behind you, and hold that position. From there, you guys know, I always talk about diaphragmatic breathing. So push the tongue against the roof of the mouth, breathe in deep through the nose, into the belly, and release. And as you do that, you'll start to relax into the stretch. Now let's go to my first model here. So we can see this being done. The reason I love this stretch, guys, most common injury, and us guys especially, past the age of 45, we start to get the biceps tendon tears. Okay, that's a very common injury. And you can see as we elongate that bicep, now we're just stretching that tendon out as well, giving it a good stretch so that when we go to reach and grab something, it's not the first time it's, it's found that new length and we can avoid some of those injuries and tears, okay? The other part is, of course, pecs, us guys, that's another area that we get nice and tight and we start to round the shoulders forward. As you can see, the shoulders are getting nice and stretched out, doing a great job with the head and neck there, keeping it nice and flat, and I can hear the breathing going perfect too. Hold this stretch for about two minutes, just like all our other static stretches, research tells us, about two minutes for the stretch will help elongate those muscles and find a new length for them. So that stretch, it's very important for us guys, like I mentioned, because we get nice and short in those bicep tendons in our shoulders, in our chest, and it pulls us forward, and we see those bicep tendon tears in guys. But girls, it's important for you as well, because anybody who's sitting down all day kind of gets that forward posture and everything starts to round forward, and it's important to stretch it all back out. So that's good for all of us, especially on the road, or even sitting at a desk. Make sure you jump up and stretch those pecs out. Our next stretch, guys, is gonna be a lat stretch. So our lats are kind of right behind our armpit. They go all the way down about mid back and our, the end of our rib cage and connect into some fascia there. When they get tight, kind of pulls our shoulders down and rounds them forward. So again, sit, sitting down all day, those lats get kind of short and tight and we need to stretch them out. So the first one I'm gonna show you is just a single arm lat stretch. You're just gonna grab your T-Rex, palm down and walk back and then lean into it, kind of sit into your hips until you feel a big stretch you might even feel it down your tricep, that's the back of your arm, to the back of your armpit, down about halfway down your rib cage. And you're just gonna sit there and breathe, just like we did on our last one, tongue against the roof of the mouth. Breathe in deep through the nose, into the belly. And as you exhale, relax into that stretch. Now we'll hold that one for about two minutes each side. There's another version I wanna show you where you hold both handles. If you feel a little unstable, we might do this one instead, okay? On this one, you'll walk out and put your feet in a straight line. Just heel to toe, straight line. And then same thing, just lean into it. And as I lean into it, now I'll feel a stretch right behind that shoulder that's on the outside. And I'm just gonna relax here and do my diaphragmatic breathing. And as I relax, you'll notice I can kind of get deeper into the stretch. Either one that works for you, if you feel a little less stable in either one, just switch to the other variation. They both stretch basically the same muscle groups and that'll help us get those lats that are kind of get a little sticky behind our armpits. Okay, so my other model for the, for the day, you can see she's doing the first variation here. What I want you to do is just bend your knees a little bit and sit back in your hip, push your hips back like you're trying to touch the, the truck behind you. Perfect. 
Now you notice her head's in a great position. We wanna keep that head nice and straight. Again, just like we're trying to get the back of the neck flat on the wall behind us. So the head's in a great position, her spine's in a great position. And we're just elongating that arm. And do you feel the stretch right behind your armpit? Perfect. The only other thing to make sure is that we're breathing deep through the nose, into the belly, and just hold for two minutes and try to relax. Just take a couple minutes to relax here. Now let's try the other variation. So we'll go both handles. And you can follow me. Your inside foot will step forward. So you have your feet in a nice straight line. Just toe to heel. Yep, perfect. Get a good grip of those handles just to make sure we're safe. And all I'm gonna do is adjust this a little bit so your hands are even. Perfect, and that's the nice thing about the TRX. You don't wanna saw it because it'll rub two ropes on each other, but you can always adjust your hand length just with a nice, easy maneuver of the loop there. It works on a loop system. And you can see, again here, just dropping the hips, head's in a great position, nice and relaxed. Make sure you're doing your diaphragmatic breathing. Every breath, you'll feel a little bit more relaxed. You'll be able to relax in that stretch a little more. And that's perfect, getting those lats nice and stretched out. This next stretch, guys, is one for our hips because when we're seated all day, our hips get kind of sticky and tight too. So I'm gonna show you a variation that you can use on a TRX, but it's something you can do in a chair as well. So if you don't feel like you have the stability to do it on the TRX, don't worry, just find a chair and do it there, okay? So for this one, it's called the figure four stretch. You're gonna grip your TRX palms down. You're gonna cross one leg up over the other, just like you're making a four with your legs. From there, you're just gonna sit into it and you should feel a major stretch right behind the outside of your hip. You're gonna sit there and hold just like other stretches for about two minutes while breathing deep into your belly. And every breath, see if you can't sit a little bit lower. Okay, after about two minutes, you'll switch legs. And again, you should feel the stretch kind of right on the outside portion of your glute area. You'll feel a major stretch. Those are your external rotators. And when we're sitting all day, those get very, very tight. And that's that guys, figure four stretch for your hips. The next thing we're gonna do guys, some movement now. I always recommend for my clients when you get out of bed in the morning, do 10 squats because squats just help every single joint in our body. It brings fluid and blood flow, which brings nutrients. If you have any little aches and pains, usually good non-painful movement like a basic body weight squat helps to alleviate some of that pain. With the TRX, what's nice, you're a little more stable because you have something to hold on to so you can go a little bit deeper and get a little more range of motion in there. So with our TRX, just have a nice firm grip so your palms are facing each other. Looking up at your anchor point, you're just gonna sit as deep as you can, okay? And as you can see, as I sit, we're kind of getting a lat stretch as well because my arms are elongating, which means my lats and triceps are elongating too. So we get a little stretch back there too. Come on back up and same thing. If you can't get that low on the first one, as, you'll, as you keep going, you'll notice you might get some blood flow and some fluid into the joints, which means you can get a little lower on each one. Okay, let's head on over to one of my models and see how we're doing. You might take a little step back. There you go. And just sit straight down in between your, your uh, legs there. Perfect. And you can see a nice deep squat that pretty much anybody can do with TRX because this gives you that stability and you can sit down there and get all that fluid in the joints. I even recommend going down, sitting and just holding for a minute while you do your breathing and letting your body just kind of figure out what it wants to stretch, okay? Again, as long as this isn't painful, just doing some non-painful movement, like a basic body weight squat, will help alleviate all those other little aches and pains we feel on our other joints. The next movement, guys, some basic rows. Again, as we round forward, we want some movements that pull us back. The first one, we're gonna do a little bit of a lower row, something for the kind of mid-back area. The second one, I'll show you what we call a face pull. For us sitting at a desk all day or sitting in a truck all day, and we start to round forward, this movement's perfect because it'll pull us back into the good posture. So the first one, the basic low row, you'll just lean back as far as comfortable, okay? And pull right to the base of the rib cage. Now, the great thing about the TRX, it works on a pendulum system. So if I wanna make this harder, I can just walk lower. And now I have more weight. So for you stronger people out there, you might wanna put a little more weight on it, okay? If that's too hard, you can throw one foot back and use that foot for assistance. If you still need to take some weight off, you simply just walk away from your anchor point and now you've taken some weight off and it's easier for you, okay? And that's your basic low row. Now the face pull, this one again, I will caution you, the major compensation I see is people shooting their head forward. So make sure if you're gonna use this variation, pin that shin back like you're trying to get your neck flat on a wall behind you 
palms down and you're just pulling up to about eye level all the way up to forehead level if you have the mobility to do that. As you can see, this variation is great to kind of combat all those tight muscles we get when we're sitting forward. Okay, let's check out one of my models here and see how she's doing. Very good. Now the one thing I'll coach you on here, take a little breath out, like almost like you're trying to blow a spitball, so you lock your trunk in, okay? Try to make sure your body's in a straight line from head down to heel, and you just breathe out to brace that core, okay? Move as one piece almost if you can. Perfect. Good, and pull a little bit lower. What I don't want to see on the low row is a shrug motion, right? We don't want to get that shrug, so pull your shoulders back and down toward your back pockets. Perfect. Good, and lock that trunk up so you move as one piece. You can hear she's doing her, her perfect breathing there as she goes. And then let's try that second version as well. So palms down, same exact movement. You're just pulling to your eye or forehead level if you can. Up a little higher towards your eye level. There you go, even a little higher if you can. See, we have some tight muscles there, I can tell, and this is starting to combat them. Try to keep those hips up, brace your trunks, so you're moving in a straight line, almost like you're trying to maintain a plank position. So that's it guys, those are your two variations for rows. So if you're sitting at a desk all day or sitting in your truck all day, hop on out, you might feel a little rounded forward and do some of those row variations just to pull us back into a good position there. So guys, that's a pretty inexpensive tool that you can take with you on the road. We wanna thank our models today and as a thank you for coming out and helping us, those are actually your TRXs. So you guys get to take those with you you now have the TRX that you can take with you everywhere you go so you can do your stretching and do your movement. So thank you for joining in. If anybody else has any questions about how to use the system or where to get one, shoot me an email. It's maustin at webmd.net. You can always get me there. I'd love to help you out so that when you're out on the road or even just sitting at your desk, you want some stretches, you want some movement, I've got all that stuff for you guys. Just shoot me an email and I'd love to collaborate with you.